In the spring, we get a lot of questions about what is wrong with my pine, my fir, my spruce, and usually nothing, unless of course it was winter damage. What people are referring to is these odd looking, oftentimes bright pink pieces of the plant that look a little bit like candy, or perhaps little brownish things, or tiny, tiny little pointing up pieces of the plant that release pollen. What you're looking at is male and female cones and the buds for current year's growth. So evergreens are not plants that flower. These are gymnosperms, not angiosperms. And so what you're really seeing is a difference between the male cone and the female cone. So enjoy the beautiful pink candy-like structures. Look at the way the cones form. On a pine, the cones are going to appear later in the season, a little later, because they have actually not broken far enough to, to release the pollen yet and form those cones in most instances. On the fir, we rarely, if ever, see cones on fir down low in the plant, and the cones on fir are so unusual because they point straight up. So even within a week's worth of, of spring appearing, we have cones on this fir down low this year because it was such an interesting year, and you can see them beginning to form. If you were out and about earlier, you might have touched the branch, branch of, a, of a fir and seen the pollen just fly all over the place. Of course, that would be the male cones pollinating the female. So, and we use words like stroboli, which of course sounds a little bit like an Italian dish as opposed to a part of a plant. So you've got pine, you've got fir, and you've got spruce. And the spruce, again, are going to show the brilliant pink candy-like structures. And then the cones will form. And on the spruce in particular, what you will see is the brownish tips or the brownish ends. Unless it is truly the needles that are, that are brown, what you're seeing is the buds for the next year's growth. So again, nothing to worry about. These are not rots or spots. These are actually a part of the beauty of the way that these evergreens, these conifers, grow. To complicate matters further, we use words like evergreen for pine, spruce, and fir. They're conifers, and so is this, and so is bald cypress. And these are actually deciduous conifers as opposed to evergreens, because of course evergreens, even though they do shed their needles, they do not lose them all at once, or else they're a former evergreen. So this is a larch, and what you're seeing again is the cones, the males have already released their pollen, and these beautiful little tufts are actually the new needles. This has already pushed its needles. Bald cypress will show interesting what appears to be flowers on the very top of the tree, and of course what that is is the males releasing their pollen, and then the cones on bald cypress will occur in clusters of what looks like green soccer balls. So very unusual, very different part of the conifer world would be these deciduous conifers, which do tend to look a little bit like dead evergreens in the winter. Make sure you know that they're not dead before you cut them down and do enjoy what looks to be something that might be an insect, might be a rot, might be a spot, might be a piece of candy. It's just a part of the way that these trees grow.